Hey again, so our next video we're going to be showing off XBMC, our media center for um, basically static content, um, music, streams, things like that. Uh, nothing live like TV. And so we're gonna just do a quick hop with the remote on over to XBMC. And XBMC does take a while to get set up, but the neat thing is it's all open source, so it's very easy to set up. And once you do get it set up, it looks pretty nice. We're using Eden instead of Frodo just because when we made this, Eden was the newest version. And it's running well, so we're just going to leave it at that. TV shows. Um, this is for our series that we really like. We've only got a couple in here right now. But you can view it by season, series, you know, episode, things like that. It comes with all the metadata that movies comes with. And XBMC's got some really nice metadata with the scrapers. You also have Netflix, which launches via XBMC just because, or not XBMC, um, Windows Media Center, because Windows Media Center has licensed Netflix, whereas XBMC hasn't. So, you know, that's just a formality, uh, personal preference. But Netflix on Windows Media Center is a lot more slick for us, so we just go with that. Um, heading back to XBMC, we've also got Hulu, Amazon Prime streaming, things like that. I think that's it for TV shows. For movies, as you can see right here, we've got um, Last Watch, partial, Last Partially Watched Movie. And this is a neat feature that Aeon MQ4, the skin I'm using, has. It also has these, you can have random movies. So if you don't know what to watch, things like that. And of course, you still get all the metadata and things like that. So we're just going to go in here. Actually, first we'll look at the scripts I've set up. And by the way, all this is outlined in the link in the video description I'll be putting up. You can view how I put all these together, how I organized it, the hardware for the media center itself, and things like that. Um, this one right here, RIP DVD. This is basically a script using Make MKV and Handbrake that rips and compresses basically any movie. We can take a 30 to 40 gig Blu-ray, turn it into a 5 to 10 gig Blu-ray um, MKV file. We can take a DVD that's 7 to 8 gigs, take it down to 1 to 2. And just to show you, we're going to do Beauty and the Beast. As you can see, I've got it. the disc right here. We just got these in. Just pop it in the Blu-ray slot. And XBMC also does play Blu-rays and um, DVDs with some additional software for the Blu-ray, obviously, because once again, XBMC is free, so they don't have Blu-ray player licenses. But you can see the controls for play, pause, stop, everything right there. We're not going to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to start the rip. And this basically kicks off the script. And then, as soon as it's done, it will let us know and the library will update. You can also get to Netflix from here. You can watch um, Apple Movie Trailers. And Movie Quiz, this is a neat little add-on that you can get that takes your movies and your videos and makes games out of it, like who's the director of this film, uh, what scene is this movie from, things like that. It's really neat. A uh, good icebreaker or a way to pass the time. And so if we go in here, we've got pretty much the same view that we had for TV shows. It shows you metadata, you can view info, things like that. Sort by various categories. Um, the remote itself has a zoom out here numpad that you can use to jump really quick. So I can jump to any sort of category, alphabetically, things like that. And just to show you video quality, we can play a quick video to show you how it runs. Playback is pretty darn efficient. Sound, it works well with HDMI out and our you know, surround sound system. Like I said, I've got the volume down low because people are sleeping. Something you'll notice if you pause 
you get a nice little you know information screen so it's not really just bland things like that you get ratings um file metadata estimated end time start time things like that playback continues in the background as you can see and also in the main menu when you're watching it you can control it from the little toolbar there things like that and that's basically all there is to XBMC's movies um, you can get a lot of add-ons and things like that if you like um, sick beard or couch potato for movies and TV like that you can do that sort of thing um, but we basically just make backups of all our DVDs or whatever we stream via Amazon or Netflix so the auto rip and Netflix Amazon and Hulu are basically all we need and once again with the remote you can pause, play, fast forward, skip scenes, stop, rewind, you know, anything you can think of. Um, the Harmony remote and the HP uh, AV receiver really work well together. But this video is getting kind of long, so I think we're going to leave it at that. And next time we will pick up with the game section. So stick around.